What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers Row. What we're going to be talking about today is Anthony Barr returning from the most feared. Okay, now, pretty much what happened was this. The hot hands chem does not work uh, efficiently anymore. As far as with Miles Jack, prior to the patch, he was catching everything. He was doing everything he's supposed to do. Now what happens is, I don't know if you guys have seen this, it'll highlight, you know, in your circle, it'll show the H, but he'll just drop the pick and then he'll slow down. It gets like really, really slow as if it's like some kind of defect that's going on. So based on what I've seen and what I've been displaying during my live streams, twitch.tv forward slash gmyersworld, shout out to all you guys that have gone over there and hit me with that sub, that free sub from Amazon Prime. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for flaunting that did your mom's emote everywhere. I really appreciate it. Um, what happens is you guys should have already seen it. What I'm going to try to do because um, I've already uh, contacted EA about it. They're looking for video proof of... Um, you know, the hot hands cam not working. So if you've been, if that's been actively happening to you to where you've um, gone for a pick and it highlights and he drops the pick, like that's been happening to me regularly. I need you guys to go ahead and, um, you know, clip those things. And then, you know, you can send it to at EA help. Um, you know, you could tag me with it to see if I can submit it as well. Just to, we just need to see that that circle is um, showing the H like it was prior to the patch when it was always an interception to now where it shows it and it's just all automatically a drop. Okay, so here we go right now. Anthony Barr is right here. Um, pretty much what's going to happen is we got rid of another card recently that has an 84 overall um, as far as it goes for him to be like powered up. I never sold his power up. The uh, base one when I got rid of him originally because it just wasn't working. So prior, like, like, let's just take a look at him before we do anything else. All right, this is where he is right now. You know, 93 play rec, 95 finesse moves, all that good stuff, looking really, really good. All right, and then um, he's gonna be at 87 speed because I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the sprinter chem to him. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to now get a player that we can sell and get the training points. So we're gonna we're gonna need about. I don't know how much it's going to be to actually power him back up, but I, like I said, I know we won't have to get his 84 overall card simply because, um, or maybe we should just get it because we might use that power up pass later on if we decide to go after Cam Newton because Cam Newton is also 84, and I think that that price is going to, let's hold up, let, let's see what Cam Newton's prices are looking like because I think that we were going to, you guys, I have to count it up in the comment section, but I think enough of you guys uh, wrote Cam Newton in the comments. So I may have to now put up or shut up. You know what I'm saying, bro? We might have to get Cam Newton and replace Mahomes. So let me just see what's going on as far as his 84. Okay, so he's at like 30K. So that's not too bad. Um, that's that. Okay, this guy has gone down to 299 again. So that's pretty good. And then this guy is at 693. So he's still around the same value um, that we thought he would be at. We're going to see if we can snipe it up for a little bit less. But, you know, that's that's soon. That's soon to come. So we could probably use it. Let me see what Anthony Barr, what Anthony Barr's thing is going for. And then whichever one is cheaper, obviously we'll go with the one. We'll save it for the person that's more expensive. Um, and we'll go from there. But we're, what we're going to do is we're going to start to use Anthony Barr again. Uh, because what I did was I was labbing with Anthony Barr without hot hands. And he was pretty good again. So I'm going to see if it makes any difference by starting to utilize him again. Uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, so this guy, we're going to use... We're going to use it on Anthony Barr because we can see that the price on him is really, really wild and ridiculous. So we're going to use it on Anthony Barr. So that was a good thing um, as far as what I was trying to do. Oh, oh, wait a minute. We have to get some training points. So now we have to get, I think we could spend like 140 on a 90 to get 2,200 training points. Oh, wait a minute. What, 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 what's he, how much is he going for? What was his 90? His 90 was, where is it? Oh, 189, 180. Okay, yeah. So that's too much. We're going to go here. We'll do that. We'll go ahead and cancel that out. And then we're going to go to quality of 90. And like I said, you can snipe for like 126, uh, things like that for the 90 overalls. But if you get like a 140 or something like that, try to grab that like right here. That's perfect. That 140, perfect. Okay? Because like that way we don't have to really waste time lurking the auction house. Uh, I generally, like I said, I like the 126s. I like anything around those, you know, those rates. It makes it a lot easier for me to do my, you know, to save while I'm doing what I'm doing, so I like to work it like that. Uh, but obviously, if I'm not doing a video, I'm going to be able to sit there and just wait. And it always comes up. People are always trying to get rid of cards because, you know, for various reasons. It, it, whatever the reason is doesn't matter, but they're always trying to get rid of them. So definitely, definitely, definitely use that to your advantage by just watching the auction house. 
So we're going to go to program and we're going to go to power up. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to, okay, we can just go to team. So I'm going to go through all this, trying to find them. And then I can't find them and all kind of crap. So where is he? Uh, bar, 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 bar. Okay, yeah, there he is right there. All right, so now we're going to go to upgrade. And like I said, I think it was Devlin that I got rid of that had a power up pass that was along his lines. So we're going to do that. We're going to power this guy up. Okay, get him all set up. And then we're going to start to use him as our user linebacker now. Now, as far as Miles Jack goes... Um, we're going to see what we could do with that, with the Miles Jack situation. Uh, we're going to have to figure that out. But I don't, I don't know at this point what exactly would make the best sense for Miles Jack because we'll look at it in a second. I, I know he has very, very good zone coverage and stuff like that. Maybe we're going to use him in that regard and see how we could go with that. Okay, we're going to probably put... All right, so there's lot we, we own this for him. Oh, wait, what? Oh, because he's powered up. They're saying that we don't have it. I guess we're going to go lockdown for him, right? Because pass rush doesn't look... We, we, I don't think it'll do much. For, no, we're going to go lockdown. We'll, we'll craft that with him. Put that on him. Um, and then we're going to do sprinter cam on him. Give him the plus one speed. All right, that's cool. Ability. What do we got? Pick six, hot hand. Okay, so hot hands is only 100 training points. But it really is not working right now. Okay, that's a tip pass. Unlimited stamina makes uh, makes a special move. Jump the snap. We don't care about that. It looks like we have to give him hot hands. Even though we know it doesn't work, I'm going to test it out with him again and see if it's working. Maybe it's something with Miles Jack. I don't know. Also, remember, though, guys, that he meets the threshold with both agility and jump. Agility has to be at least an 80. Uh, jump has to be at least a 75. I'm just very, very cautious right now because he's been intercepting the ball without hot hands, I don't know if we should try something else. Maybe we go pick six and see how it works with pick six. Let's let's try that. Let's try that. Just just to change it up because hot hands is not working and I don't want it to become something to where it's wild. So we're going to leave um, everything else the way that it is and we're going to make this man now have the pick six, uh, the pick six cam just in case we get it. We know that, you know, he has unlimited stamina. We can just keep running and it is what it is. So let's go into the lineup now. And we're gonna, we could probably keep him as the backup. I don't think it's a big deal to have him as the starter. You know what I'm saying? Because I think he's gonna, what he's gonna go to, like a 92 anyway. He's not gonna be higher than Telvin Smith. And then also with Telvin, um, we're gonna go to compare them. But, you know, Telvin obviously has the higher uh, zone, uh, the, he has the higher zone and like uh, play rec and everything like that. Um, and he's, you know, he's a plus three overall higher. I don't know at this point if we get rid of Telvin Smith. I think we keep him for now, and I don't really see anybody else, you know, taking either one of these guys' spots. But what I am going to do is I am going to sub him in. He has 88 speed, 94 play rec. Again, I don't really think all of that matters because they still just stand there and watch what goes on right in front of them and never do anything. But his catching is a 76. What is Miles Jack catching 73? So maybe that's going to be a little bit more... Uh, influential with the situation. We can see how that works. Um, uh, going forward, uh, finesse. Okay, we don't really care about the finesse moves, all that stuff. The block shedding, he's not going to be really doing anything, but the play rec is a 94. Man coverage is a 72. His zone is a 82. Okay, his zone coverage is a 84. What's Telvin Smith? His zone coverage is 82, but that also goes up. I think that, yeah, that goes up plus three. They're not even really showing it, so it's an 85. So Anthony Barr is not that you know what I'm saying? Because I don't run man coverage. So it looks as if he could be a solid replacement for Telvin Smith. So at any given point, Telvin Smith can actually be rage sold. Uh, I think he's one speed point faster as well. Um, even with the uh, sprinter cam. Yeah, because he goes to a... Where's his speed? He goes to an 87 and bars an 88. So Miles Jack, you know, he's, gonna, he's an 86 speed. And um, we could look at what he's actually doing as far as... His zone coverage is an 84, but obviously that goes up um, with the uh, with the chem. So he 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 actually has a higher zone. We could put him in that coverage that we used to put the other guy in, who was Telvin Smith, and then Telvin Smith might have to be on his way out. So let's go and actually look at um, you know look at it from his point of view so that we can see what's going on. So he has a 92 play rec. He has a decent block shed. Let's just make sure that we're getting the chems on him. Okay, so that way we know what's going on with it. So his zone coverage is an 88. So that's pretty good. So we could actually use him in coverage. And then ultimately what could happen is we can get rid of, like I was telling you guys before, we can actually get rid of Telvin Smith at any given time. 
because technically Miles Jack is going to play that zone. And now that we're going to be using Anthony Barr as our user linebacker, it's going to pretty much change the game with everything that goes on with that. So I think at this point, we're going to just experiment with pick six, stay away from hot hands, and let's see if that works. Because like I said, when I was trying it out um, without the hot hands, Anthony Barr was intercepting the ball a lot. All right? And that might mean I just have to simply take the hot hands cam off of Miles Jack. That's, that's probably all I have to do. But instead of doing that, I'm going to try to find another chem that works for all of us so that we can see what's going on for now until EA is able to take a look at it and figure out like, yo, what is happening? Why is this even going on right now? It doesn't make any sense. So ultimately, where we are right now with Anthony Barr, I think that if he's back as the best user linebacker in the game. I just have to make sure that he is by, you know, simply putting him through the woodwork. I'm going to have to go out there, uh, put him in the lineup, see what he's doing. Make him play some coverage, see if, you know, we get those same animations. If it turns out that Hot Hands is really, really defective, I'm going to make sure that I alert you guys via Twitter, uh, at GMizewell, to let you guys know. Like, I already tweeted it out before that Hot Hands was not working. So if, it, if I determine that just taking it off and putting on another chem makes the guys pick the ball a little bit more, or maybe it's just Anthony Barr. I don't know what it is. We'll figure it out. Uh, but the, the the most recent patch, the October patch, really, really hurt that chem in hot hands because I've never dropped that many, pick, that many picks since the launch of Madden 19. All right? So I want to know what you guys are thinking about it. Definitely send me uh, the clips if you are getting that highlighted H and no reaction after that. I would really appreciate that. Thank you guys and girls so much. I'm going to see you next time. One love.